The blended sliders inside of Photoshop are a really powerful tool to be able to blend based on what's showing on the layer. To demo this, to demo how the basic principle works, I have a very black to white gradient, simply put radial gradient on my canvas. And this is also an unlocked layer, so it's called layer zero here, which isn't a locked background layer. And that means I can go into my blending options by right clicking on the layer, selecting blending options. And this is where the blended sliders reside. What you can choose down here at the default blending options screen is blend if gray, red, green, and blue. But you can do here this layer and underlying layer. And these work basically the same way. When you drag here, you're saying whatever color I place my marker on, blend there from that stop. So if I drag this one inside, you'll see the black area reduces and then as we go into gray, the gray reduces and we get closer and closer and closer to white. But it's getting kind of a harsh edge and of course the white does the very same but in reverse. It's saying blend away whatever is white or whiter than the point where I'm at. So you see we get to punch a hole in this here. But the downside is that it's a very hard edge. So what you can do is hold down your option key on the Mac or Alt key on the PC. And while doing that, clicking on one of the little pointers and you'll see that you split it in two. So there's one edge at the right and one at the left here. And if I drag that out, we're creating more of a soft blend because it's saying blend it between these two stops. So I can pull one and make the edge harder or pull it out to make a softer blending edge. And while I'm in here, I should point out, you can also do this to the underlying layers. You can do either both this layer and underlying layer, or just the underlying layer to a certain layer. So it's a very easy way to blend based on what's on the layer.